Hi all, it's Ivan and I'm planning to install the LSP. LSP states for Language Server Protocol. And Neovim and the Language Server communicates using a protocol called LSP. That's simple. And the LSP brings a soul into your Vim. Because Language Server support a range of functions, especially some correct autocomplete based on the semantic of your language, the navigation to the description or implementation, and also there are numerous LSP for different languages. Okay, let's start. The first, you have to go in your directory on the Windows, this, on the Mac or Linux, it will be different. I attach that. So, the next, what you have to do here, you have your configuration init.lua open it and in init lua and it's our config we already have a packer here configured from the previous video if you didn't watch that so go there and watch how properly to install the packer but it's pretty simple so now i already have a packer with a couple of configurations here what we need to do we need to find the nevim lsp config in the github and here it's pretty easy how you can do install it. We have this line and you just copy that and insert it here. Then save it and close and open again. Now we have to install it. So Parker install. Now that's done. Move in the bottom of your script. Now we are going to configure it. And you have uh, two different ways how to do that. The first of all, you initialize the configuration by yourself. For example, it looks like this Python. You use this name and then setup. Or if you're using Rust, you can use Rust tool. And with the Rust tool in Neovim, it's even simpler. The plugin will initialize the LSP server for you automatically. So here you don't need to initialize, you just need to copy and paste it in your config and it's done. Before the LSP configuration, we have to download the language server. On the Windows, you can do that with Choco. This is a package manager on Windows. So Choco search Rust analyzer. So we have Choco install Rust Analyzer. Then we are great and it's installed. What are you gonna do next? Next, open Neovim init Lua, move down, open the config. How we can do? Scroll a bit down and here we have the example for the Rust Analyzer. So just copy this configuration, paste it here, and then, so I'll copy all of this, insert it here. Go here, LSP config, and what I really want to use here, I want to see the definition, some hover, and let's remove all of this. You can test it later, and if you need something from that, so just use it, but I will going to change it. And for the definition, I want to jumping directly to the definition, so I'm gonna use the control plus this bracket. And for the hover, I want to use shift, shift H. Done. Then save it, exit, open again. It works. Okay, how does it work? It's pretty simple. I'm going to demonstrate it on a Neovite Rust project. Now we can see some Rust code base to, to feed it to Rust Analyzer, to analyze your code and provide you the proper helpers in your code. Navim, cargo toml, open this file uh, like a startup file. Then I'm going to open the cursor. Now we're here. Give a little bit time for Rust Analyzer to analyze your code base and provide your proper helpers. Then scroll down and check the cursor shape. Press Shift H and now we see that it's inside of the Neowite editor cursor. Okay, now we can move there. How we can do that? 
move your cursor somewhere around this world. It doesn't matter else where is it, but somewhere in this world. Then press Ctrl and pick it, and you move immediately to this file. Then scroll down a little bit and select something different. For example, the grid cell. Then press Ctrl, back it, and immediately move directly to the grid cell. So, this is how it works. This is a simple LSP configuration. Thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much. See you next time.